Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Blakeu92 again with another video tutorial on Timeline Techniques Part 1. And in this one we're going to be going over several different things uh, dealing mainly with the timeline. I guess you can consider this maybe the next step or maybe an intermediate course to the Avid Timeline window. And like I say in all my videos, if you haven't seen any of my previous tutorials, I'm a Final Cut Pro certified user and an Avid Media Composer certified user, but that doesn't mean I'm a certified instructor in either of those programs. I'm doing this for your guys' benefit, and I realize it's difficult to learn all these techniques just by yourself, and uh, it would be nice to have these video tutorials up here, wouldn't it? So, let's get started. Alright, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is to add new tracks to your timeline right here. Right now we have four tracks of audio and one track of video. And Avid's able to handle up to 24 audio tracks and 24 video tracks in, in a timeline. Normally you would just load a clip into the source monitor and splice it in to create a new sequence. But maybe at some point you'd like to have more tracks for sound effects or more video tracks for uh, visual effects or something like that so later on we'll be showing you how to work with that but for now the first way um, to add video tracks is we can go up to clip and then new video track right here and notice it automatically adds a video track 2 represented by V2 now another way you can do this is to press Control Y or you can press Command plus Y 